Hello, everybody. Uh, yes, uh, I'm Lauri and uh, I work in a Ministry of Economic Affairs and Communications. And uh, as Olga mentioned uh, a bit earlier, that my background is uh, uh, related uh, mostly uh, with the apartment buildings and therefore uh, I will concentrate uh, on, on, on that sector. And um, as uh, at least in Estonia, I reckon around uh, up, to, up to 50 percent of the people are living in, in uh, let's say, older apartment buildings or apartment buildings um, built before uh, 2000. It is the, the largest uh, sector uh, mm, where uh, we, we must uh, deal with uh, in indoor climate. And uh, well, this slide is uh, <laughs> maybe a bit embarrassing as, as I'm not the health uh, expert and the, the, the numbers here are clearly outdated. Uh, but I can excuse myself uh, saying that um, it uh, was uh, one of the principles or, or slides or, or the numbers how we managed to uh, uh, change the way the ventilation system or ventilation or indoor climate in older apartment buildings are, are dealt with. So uh, very big thanks also to Tallinn Technical University uh, from where I uh, uh, got or stole uh, many many slides, but uh, this this is definitely one of them. And uh, since then, uh, one of our mantra has uh, have been that uh, you you can't save energy on the cost of indoor climate, and this is one of the key principle. Uh, so all uh, different kind of measures uh, state provides to the apartment buildings or this apartment association. There, there must be uh, something to be done with uh, with the ventilation system. This is a must be. And uh, uh, now I show uh, the, the three uh, most common, or or even I think ninety nine point nine percent of the of the ventilation systems uh, which are uh, now are being used when uh, when doing the deep renovation. Of course, it must be said that uh, if there is no deep renovation carried out, the apartment owners don't uh, want to use different uh, subsidies or measures from the government side, and they want to renovate their uh, building partly. Uh, it's, it's hard to intervene there. But uh, as we see, at least uh, uh, some uh, fresh air valves and probably uh, in in many apartments, the exhaust uh, air uh, related uh, systems uh, is the market practice. But uh, but uh, I will uh, I will concentrate on on these uh, systems uh, which are mostly done when doing the deep renovation in apartment buildings. And this first one is uh, it is used quite rarely. Because of the of the quite uh, quite high cost and and, uh, and the ductwork installation, and uh, it is very common in uh, new buildings. But uh, in older apartment buildings, it's quite logical why uh, why it is uh, very very hard to establish, especially when the ceiling heights are, are not so so high. But in some uh, smaller apartment buildings uh, where the planning of the apartments are reasonable it, it has been it has been done and of course this kind of system is uh, is, uh, is probably the best one as it uh, at, uh, as it is autonomous for every apartment and it can be regulated uh, based on the needs of the people who are living uh, living there uh, the other one is um, Right now, the most common system, uh, uh, which which are used uh, when when uh, uh, renovating the apartment buildings, uh, we we call it uh, the central system, and uh, it is most common on up to five uh, floor or five story buildings, uh, 
and uh, in most cases uh, we can use old ventilation uh, channels or shafts uh, for the exhaust air and for the supply air uh, these uh, new ventilation pipes uh, are uh, installed on the facade and under the insulation uh, the it's the, the, the positive side is it's the, the works for the apartment owners uh, are, are, are really minimal at the, at basically the same when you just doing the fresh valve, just doing the hole to get the fresh air. So it, it really helps to, uh, let's say, the cell or, or help to sell this uh, solution. And it's quite high energy efficiency and uh, it, it works. But as it is not autonomous per apartments, uh, it, uh, it it not very flexible. Meaning that if uh, if yes today in some apartments live let's say four people, it can happen that uh, over I don't know five years there is only one people. So it it is not that efficient in that terms. And if somebody wants to manipulate manipulate the system and uh, I don't know, shut down some valves, it can influence the other apartments. Uh, but uh, of course, this uh, training and uh, awareness raising has to come together with installation the system. So the people must understand how the system works and uh, that you can't really manip manipulate with it uh, because it affects uh, the others. And uh, here are some pictures and um, as you see, these pipes are, are not uh, are not a round one, but more like flat. And when the building is renovated, it basically looks there is there is <laughs> no ventilation, holes, nothing. It it looks like new. And of course, uh, our practice uh, in many cases are that the windows are uh, brought in the same. Uh, uh, same place uh, as the new facade, so to to cut out the thermal bridges. But it, it's not the question of uh, ventilation, but uh, but it's related in that terms that we can uh, can can do some mold if the thermal bridges uh, are not correctly uh, dealt with, and uh, uh, and the mold is related to uh, the lung problems and so on. And this main ventilation unit can be. Uh, on the basement or on the roof, depending uh, what type of uh, building uh, we're talking about. And the other uh, most common system is uh, is the unit with heat uh, heat pump, uh, and this uh, heat uh, or or energy goes back to uh, domestic hot water or uh, to the to the same uh, heating system. Uh, very similar to the pre previous one, minimal construction works. And uh, this is the best solution for higher buildings because the surface, there, there is uh, not enough surface to install all the pipes uh, on, the, on the walls. So uh, we must, we, we can't, uh, uh, we can't install this uh, previous system in, uh, in, in many cases. It has been done, but uh, but uh, it's quite challenging. So therefore, this type of system is more flexible and easier to use. But uh, there is a problem uh, because it, the, if there should be a, a lot of this type of uh, buildings, uh, it doesn't work very well with district heating because uh, in the summertime, you don't need district heating uh, because it uh, gives you the hot water uh, and uh, it is hard for the district uh, heating companies to uh, invest to their system because uh, the, the, the need for the, uh, the heating is very uh, fluctuant due to this type, this type of systems. So uh, these are not the best solution when you are talking the scalability, uh, but it really helps the bigger buildings and uh, and uh, it's also very good when the installation of this type of system is very well, uh, the, the design documents are very well 
done and handled because the 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 automation level is quite high and so on. So you, you have to be quite uh, clever uh, so this system uh, worked as they meant to be. Um, and uh, there can be some problems also with this radiator. This uh, this picture is Purma Air, I think, and uh, the installments of it has to be re really good because if it's not, then the cold uh, air uh, starts to flow uh, on the on the on the surface, so and uh, it uh, gives an uncomfortable feeling, and people can shut it down or something like that. But still. It is it is definitely a good solution compared to the previous uh, indoor climate uh, in this type of apartments. And as I said, uh, higher buildings uh, are very suitable for for them. And uh, I think it is also um, at it at least it was uh, the, when you're considering euros, it's the most cost effective. But uh, uh, now we have this uh, rising electricity prices. I don't know uh, what, what are the latest data regarding that. Uh, and this type of uh, solutions uh, are not accepted anymore when applying uh, the reconstruction grant or this uh, public, uh, pu public grant. Uh, it was in force, uh, or it, it was allowed uh, during 2010 and 14, but uh, the, there was a lot of problems with it. And then the university, uh, Tallinn University, uh, Technical University, did some studies, and, and uh, we, we saw that uh, to supporting this type of systems is not uh, very clever, and uh, <coughs> the, the, uh, we, we shouldn't. Uh, uh, provide uh, to help uh, installing this, uh, these systems. And uh, what is written there, um, oh yeah, the too small pressure drop is that there was uh, definitely problems in windy, windy areas because the, the power of the ventilator is so small that uh, it, it doesn't uh, do their job. And there was some uh, frosting issues uh, when there was like minus 15, minus 20, uh, due to this type of minuses, uh, the heat recovery was quite low. Uh, too high noise when you put the last speed, and, and the wet rooms are not uh, solved, or, or the apartment is not solved uh, in a holistic way. Or and th 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 that's why that's why uh, government doesn't support this type of solutions anymore. But uh, I, I know that definitely some of the buildings are still using it, and probably in uh, in in let's say in smaller apartments uh, in uh, places where there is uh, less uh, less winter in Estonia, uh, less wind, uh, people mm, uh, spending not so much time in, in their apartments, it's it's okay solution, definitely. Mm. And uh, I was mentioning this type of study uh, uh, which carried out uh, which was carried out uh, from 2015 and 2017, uh, uh, studying different type of uh, systems, uh, found out that uh, uh, most of the cases, the, uh, the outcome was okay. They, they had some problems, but uh, well, I think it's the question of the learning curve, and uh, and now definitely the installments uh, are, are done much more with much more quality uh, people are much more too used to it and so on uh, and uh, mm, and basically yeah, the f f first time in history uh, we, we the, the people who are living there have uh, adequate ventilation at least uh, uh, if they want to use it in that way they, they can have it of course we we can't cut it down uh, the mm, the problems to the minimum level when people want to manipulate the system and so on, but but still they have the option. So the evolution, uh, the, the first requirements came uh, 2010, but um, it, it was too early still uh, to implement the, 
different type of solutions and therefore still the natural ventilation was uh, a big, um, let's say, one of the most uh, common solutions. And this, the last uh, uh, last solution, which is not, not right now uh, granted anymore, uh, but the first uh, heat pump systems came and first central system. And we saw that uh, when the new uh, financial period began 2014 to 20, and the measure started 2015, uh, we changed completely the requirements. And uh, right now, um, the next financial period, we probably will continue the same 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 system with probably maybe some minor changes regarding the parameters of of ventilation systems. And uh, with the, this type of systems, we are um, renovating around one hundred buildings per year. But uh, we should renovate a lot more with that. But well, better than nothing. <laughs> well. Thank you from my side.